Is your annoying mouse making your Lightroom editing difficult? Jumpy sliders? ARG! Endless scrolling through countless parameters to find what you need? Who's got the time? What if we told you there was a better way to Lightroom without spending hundreds of dollars? Stay tuned for information on this revolutionary product that can be yours for just $29. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Camera Carnage. I'm Ryan from Seymour Carnage Photography, here with another money-saving hack for all of my fellow frugal photographers out there. When I started doing larger shoots and I was bringing home hundreds and hundreds of photos to process, I felt like I was spending way too much time sitting around and editing in Lightroom. Even once I got comfortable with my flow and I started using keyboard shortcuts and things like that I just felt like I was still spending a lot of time per photo dragging sliders scrolling menus etc and there had to be a more efficient way to do things the type of shows and events that I shoot often have really dynamic lighting so doing things like trying to copy and paste settings from frame to frame in Lightroom don't really work for me. I have to pay particular attention to each frame as I go and that ends up being really time consuming. So I was trying to find ways to streamline and accelerate my editing process. That's when I started looking at different control surfaces for Lightroom. Now some of the Loop Deck products are pretty slick but they start at about $180 for the basic model and go all the way up to $550. Another option is the Modular and Minimalist Monogram Palette series, but their photo console is $599 and offers even fewer controls and no real display to work with. So for those of you not familiar with MIDI, it stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it sends data from things like keyboards and DJ interfaces and other types of musical controllers to either software in your computer or to other musical hardware. And you can use it with plugins to control programs like Lightroom or Photoshop or Premiere. So having been a DJ in a former life, I just happened to have some MIDI equipment lying around. So I did a little bit of research and finally chose one of these plugins called LR Control. And it was about $30 and let me tell you that it has revolutionized my photo editing workflow. Just to make it completely transparent, I am not affiliated with LR Control at all. They did not solicit me to do this review. This is a product that I have paid for and really like and just want to share my feedback with you. Now if you don't just happen to have a whole bunch of MIDI equipment lying around like I do, let me assure you that there are lots of options available out there, either new or used, for less than a hundred dollars. For instance, this uh, Akai LPD-8 can be found pretty frequently online for around thirty dollars. Uh, I am using this Behringer CMD DV-1. Um, I just happen to like it because of the sheer number of buttons that it has plus uh, the knobs, the rotary encoders, are infinitely turning, which can be a real benefit for you. And that one can be had used for about $50. So I'm sure you're wondering, well, how does all this work? Well, let's give you a quick demo. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of how much this can help with your workflow, especially when you're processing multiple pictures. So I've got my control surface set up over here and I have these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons at the bottom set up for my uh, different pages. So number one is set up for the basic adjustments. I've got um, temperature, tint, and curves on two. And then I've got hue, luminance, saturation, sharpening and noise, presence and vignette, and crop and rotation setup. So I can cycle through these different pages and you can see the menu on the side jumps to the section you're at as you go. So you can still see your sliders, everything. And then I've got buttons set up for picking and rejecting when I'm going through calling photos in the import library. I can 
uh, change the sensitivity of my rotary encoders. I've got uh, some tone and white balance buttons set up here. I can copy and paste parameters with these buttons and I can view uh, before and afters here. And then I've got um, zoom and different preview modes set up on here. So I've got everything at my fingertips. And uh, so let's just say I'm working on this photo. This is a, a shot from a little nature shoot that I did with my god brother Rob. That'll be a different video coming up shortly. All right, so let's say we're looking at this and uh, you know, first of all, I wanna go in and I want to adjust the horizon a little bit. And let's say I decide I want to crop in on this, make him the forefront. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. I can jump back to my basic controls and uh, it was kind of a gloomy day. So let's bring up exposure a little bit. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna drop contrast just a hair and then, you know, it's kind of a gray day. Let's, um, let's go ahead and adjust some of the luminance on the yellows and the greens, try to get those to pop and, um, let's, let's go ahead and adjust saturation as well okay that's looking pretty good and then we can go down and let's leave the temperature but maybe let's yeah let's mess with our exposure curves and points here and then, you know, maybe I want to add a little vignette and all right, that's not looking terrible. And then we can tweak out, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead, let's compare. Let's do an AB comparison. Yeah, yep, all right, like that. So we're back and we can jump to the next photo same thing let's bring up the exposure a little bit let's increase the contrast a bit on this one let's adjust the saturation and luminance on those reds really make them pop and um, let's see here bring up highlights a little bit cool moving on to the next one bang 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 as you can see I've got everything at my fingertips and it can really expedite the process especially once you develop the muscle memory for it all right so this is what we're talking about lr control 5 it's the current version and you can get it for 29 dollars the website will show you some recommended controllers. Obviously there's a lot of other options. I'm using one that's definitely not on the list. Any MIDI controller will work. There's just probably some feature sets that um, you'd want to look for. The guy who offers this plugin is super helpful. I have written him once or twice with support questions and he's been very nice and responds very quickly. I appreciate that level of support, especially on a homegrown product like this. But okay, once you're in Lightroom, if you go up to the help module and plug in extras, this is where you're going to find your LR control. And you can go in and, uh, let's see, view your controller functions. And if you do that, it'll pop open a web page and it will show you how you've got your things set up now. And you can see, you know, again, all the different layers, the ones that I had assigned to those buttons down at the bottom, the different menus that I can jump to. Um, you can see, you know, just in case you happen to forget, like, oh, you know, it's been a while, what have I assigned, you know, this knob to do or that button to do. You can go back and view it here. Um, you can go in in controller setup and, um, 
there's lots of options. You'll notice when I was twiddling knobs, there was a, there was a little menu showing up down in the bottom corner here, a little pop-up, I should say, that uh, showed me the parameter I was changing and by how much. Um, so uh, you can program stuff like that to pop up and down, and you can, um, there's a quick setup function, or you can go in and you can customize everything in there uh, from a huge menu of functions. I think it gives you a better array of control than um, you would get from using some of the built-in keyboard shortcuts or even using a macro controller or something like that. It's, uh, it's not terribly complicated to set up and again the support on it is really great. If you're doing your, your custom setup you just go in and it'll say what button do you want to map uh, a function to and you find the function and it'll say okay hit the button you go ahead and hit the button or you turn the knob or you do whatever it was and it'll say ding okay cool we've saved it and you're good to go so yeah it's not intimidating to set up or to use so there you have it. With one of these plugins and a little bit of shrewd shopping, you can have a very capable Lightroom control surface for way less than the price of one of the dedicated products like the ones from Loop Deck. Trust me, having a control interface can really streamline your editing process by taking a lot of those different commands that you use regularly and reducing the amount of clicking and scrolling that you have to do in order to get to them. Thank you for watching this episode of Camera Carnage. I'm Ryan from Seymour Carnage Photography. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. And of course, like and subscribe if you want to get notifications for new and upcoming content. I always have new tips and tricks coming your way. Till then, take care.